Hello from the EKA Expo. I'm Dwayne from Modders Inc. I'm a longtime case modder, a hardware enthusiast, and a YouTube creator. Please make sure that you check out all of EKA's newest products and my look at the Elite 360 DRGB all-in-one cooler. We know that EK makes some outstanding products for the DIY water cooling crowd, right? So, I mean, they make the CPU blocks, the GPU blocks, the fans, the radiators, the pumps, the reservoirs, all that awesome stuff. But how many people actually know that they do make some AIOs? Probably not too many, but I can tell you this, that they do just as much testing, just as much effort, just as much technology, and just as much quality into the AIOs as they do all their other products that they offer. What we're going to do is take a deep look inside of the Elite 360 DR RGB all-in-one cooler for your CPU, and I'm going to point out a few things and give you some details about what I find and what we see inside the box. Let's jump inside the box. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty good size, so uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that we have to cover, so let's try and do this and see what we can find. Uh, one of the good things is, right, this is a huge manual. I would highly recommend if you've never put it in an AIO unit or this is the first time you get into water cooling, absolutely do it. I would also go and check it out because it shows you how to set up the controller too. Because there is a EK Hub controller for the RGB lighting and also the fans and everything else. So it shows you exactly how to set all that up with uh, different systems and whatnot. Awesome information on that. You can see this is how it's packaged. Very nice, right? Everything's in plastic wrap. Awesome job. Make sure it doesn't get scratched when it comes to you. So I think what we'll first jump into is look at is, so this is the Vadar S fans that come with the unit. As you can see, it's kind of a frosted on the fans. Uh, it's not a solid, so it's gonna light up really well with the RGB. It's gonna get your, your nice, uh, colors and your nice illuminance and all that other nice cool stuff that happens with it. They are 120 millimeter. So yes, 120 millimeter. You get one. No, you don't get one. You get three. No, wait a minute. <laughs> you don't get three. You don't get four. You don't get five. You don't get but six. You get six of the Vadar S fans. Now the whole reason behind this is, is that they do recommend for your best cooling experience is that you do the push-pull setup. So what does that mean? Is that you have a fan that is set up, this is your intake side, that is on the front side of the radiator, pushing air into the radiator. And then you have one on the other side that's actually moving the air out. So you have two fans that are set up and it'll go through. I'll actually set it up a little bit later and show you, but just a quick idea why. If for some reason you're not able to put it into your system as a push-pull system setup, you can use one or the other and set it up the way that you would like it or the way that it fits. But they do recommend that it, they try and set it up as a push-pull combination. Next thing in the box we're gonna look at is the EK Hub. Now the EK Hub, I like to look at it as a multi-purpose tool, okay? So of course it's a hub, such as they say, which means that you can use a single SATA power supply source, which is great, you don't have to put another cable out like a Molex or something. But what's really kind of neat is that you can actually do up to seven different fans and also control the RGB from those seven fans. So for instance, if you're gonna be using all six of these fans in your case, you're gonna be able to control them all from here plus one additional fan. So that is really nice setup. What they're trying to do is help you manage your cables, right? So instead of having cables run all around through your case, you're gonna be able to just run them right to this hub. So the hub's gonna be as close as you can, I would say, to the fans that you're using. That way it makes it uh, really nice on the inside it makes it look really nice on the outside as well. So that is an awesome, awesome little setup right there. I, I really enjoy looking at that. I like that the box is clear. It kind of gives you a different look 
not just that it's plastic like this on that side, but you get this whole different detail. Um, I don't know, I, I just kind of like that aesthetic. Let's see what we can find in the box next. Uh, the next most important thing is going to be, well, you're going to have to connect it to your motherboard, right? So here we go. We got all the connections. So what's really nice about this is that they give you everything, everything you're going to possibly need to install this onto any AMD and any Intel setup. Get all those fan screws. So it goes through there. Yeah. You've got all the brackets for the AMD and the Intel the screws, everything you absolutely need. That's why you need to make sure that you keep this around and take a look at it. Oh, I know how to do it. Eh, <laughs> let's see. Make sure you just go through this and it does tell you uh, exactly how to put everything into there. Uh, it's really, really nice, really quick and easy, especially for the first time person who wants to try and do this. Or even if you're a veteran like myself, sometimes they change a little things here or there and it just makes it a lot easier to use that. Uh, they even give you some of the EK thermal grease, so that's nice. You got a little tube of that. You don't need a whole bunch. If you end up using the whole tube, you're probably using too much thermal paste, so don't do that. But they do give you everything you need for AMD and Intel systems. So again, really nice. We're going to put that over to the side. We're pretty much down to the last pieces here. So what do we have next? Of course, we have the system itself. So what we have here is the pump and CPU cooling plate. You've got on the here, you've got your RGB connections and you've also got your PWM. So make sure that you put this onto the motherboard where it says CPU one, or sometimes it says on your motherboard, maybe fan slash pump. So you want to check about that. And this of course will go on to the motherboard if you have to do that or you can actually do it inside of the hub and that goes right in <laughs> super nice right so you've got the kind of black chrome on the top then you've got a lighter chrome that's in the middle and then you've got this matte black and you know, a plastic look uh, it really kind of gives you a really good solid kind of look on the inside not too flashy and not underwhelming as well either. So it looks very nice. Got the EK logo on the front. I like this, the connections to the pump and water block, that it is swivel. So you can move it to any position that you want, right? That of course, so you can move it around depending upon where you're going to be mounting your radiator. This is a universal mount. So wherever you can mount it into your case is where you can put it. You can also see that on the bottom of the block, it's copper, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So it's a copper plate and it does have the thermal paste pre-applied. means you don't have to even worry about that. So the extra thermal paste that's in here is in case like you have to take it off for whatever known reason, and then you'd be able to reapply it and be able to have a, a working system once again. But most of the time, if you put it in, you're probably not gonna change it up for a long time unless you're maybe gonna upgrade your system. Again, that's kind of nice. So let's say two years from now, you go ahead and say, well, you know what? I want to go ahead and upgrade this or that. This can go right along with it. Another awesome thing is that EK gives you a five-year warranty. Yeah, a five-year warranty on this. So if anything goes wrong with it, you have any kind of an issues with it, you know, like, not just like putting a screwdriver in it, but if you have anything that goes wrong with it, any issues that happen to happen to go with it, uh, there is a five-year warranty. So that's an awesome, awesome deal. Not too many people will do that. So I think we're going to go ahead and take a look at the radiator. The radiator for the 360 Elite AIO is just as much quality and just as much performance as you would if you were going to buy your own radiator separately to do your, your DYI system. This is 360 millimeters and you know, it's like, well, it looks a little bigger than that. Well, it actually is. So usually when you're going to see like this 360 or 240 or 120, they're actually talking about the fan size. So this one takes three 112 millimeter fans, which means that it is 
360 total. I think what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and hook up all the fans and use the EK hub, hook it up to a PC and do a little demonstration of the RGB lighting. I was able to put all the fans on the radiator as you can see and it lights up really nice. Um, so easy to hook up. Did use the, the hub, made it super easy. I mean, I don't know if I've ever had it as easy. I just plugged them all in, took one cable, plugged it into the motherboard, plugged one into the fan header, and off I went. So it was really easy to set up. As you can see, um, just going through the motherboard control system, which I am using RPG Fusion, I can change the colors just on the click of a switch. And what's really nice is that everything changes at the same time, right? So I don't want to make complaints. It's like, oh, I got to do this, do this, use this software for this and that. Wow, with the EK setup here, it is just instantly right onto the motherboard and so simple to use. I mean, you can see as I can change, as I'm clicking, it's instantly changing. It's also changing on top of the water block there. So everything is really nice, simple, quick, easy to use. I'd like to point out something on the Vader DRG fans is that it has a jumper system on it or a daisy chain. Maybe some people will call it that. And it's really nice. So let's say for some reason, I do not have the EK hub but I have enough that I can hook up maybe a couple fans, but I can't hook up my RGB because I only have one connection. You take your connection from your motherboard, put it over to your very first fan, and you can plug it in because you have the ability to do jumper from one to the next. As you can see, oops, that one's not on. I got connected. What do I do? I take the next fan, I take the block off the top of it, plug it back in, and there it works. And it works just as normal as going through all the colors and going through all the different changes of the colors. So without a hitch, it just works right away. So even without the EK hub, it works wonderfully. But I would absolutely, and I'm happy that it comes with it, it makes it so much easier because all my cabling now goes to the hub. It's gonna help create a, a much smoother setup and it makes it look a lot nicer. I can hide a lot of stuff. Thanks for watching my video on the Elite 360 All-in-One CPU Cooler by EK. Please make sure that you check out all the new products from EK during the EK Expo.